Hi from Three Chapters 8 video number 7 How are you? How am I? Okay So today our title will be Ionizing Radiation and Non-Ionizing Radiation What is mean by Ionizing Radiation? Ion means Li Zi Ionizing Li Zi Hua Radiation Fang Se Xin So Ionizing Radiation and Non-Ionizing Non-ionizing radiations, non-ionizing Okay, or what's meaning? Don't know. So I magnify this title. Okay, ionizing radiations. So what's mean by ionizing radiations? You copy on your notes. Uh, this is the radiation. This is the radiation with the ionizing power. Okay, 这种方式先, Radiation with ionizing power. Page number one, did you mean? Page number nine, did you mean? Huh? Okay. So what's mean by radiation with ionizing power? Okay, or any example. Can by huh? So what's mean by ionizing power? Okay, 制造离子那个 power. So any example, alpha and beta, they are two dot radiation. So they are fast moving and energetic particle. They move very fast. The okay? For example, alpha the speed will be five percent of the light. Or beta the speed will be ninety-five percent of the light. Guang Su the percent Okay? So they are fast moving and energetic particle. Dong quite When they correct with the atom of the matter, they may knock the electron off the atom. And the the atom the sohona, they may knock off the electron of the atom. Tap up the general electron chuang chu lai. Okay? And the resulting atom is said to be ionized. Guahonali atom to pin the leads, but not understand. Push and mean by them. Look at the example. You can hand to be an example. Okay? So they say this is the atom. So they choose in the atom. When alpha particle, now my my mouse cursor, it will be the alpha particle. La. So alpha particle actually is moving fast and very energetic. When alpha particle correct with the air particle, for example, ta chuang dao kong chi de shi ho, it knock off the electron from the atom. Ta ba atom limit the electron ne chuang chu lai. When the atom lost the electron, finally they will be just positive and this is what we call positive ion. Ta jiu bian cheng jia de li zi le, dai bu dai? So what is mean by ionizing radiation? Zhe zhong fang shi xin, ta hui zhi zhao li zi. Ta chuang dao yan zi, na li yan zi de electron bu jian, 电子不见就变成了离子，所以这种叫离子化的放射线。Understands? Okay, any example? Alpha and beta, lah. Okay, like. So now draw on your notes. What I need the notes. So now they say we having a lot of air particle or air molecule. We have many neutral the air particle or air atom, lah. 空气中的 atom. And now alpha particle correct with the air. It is connecting with the air. But when they knock with the atom of the air. The knock of the electron, ta ba zhe atom the electron chuang kai, chuang chu lai. And finally, atom will become charged and become ion. Okay? So alpha particle knock the atom, and the electron will be knocked off from the atom, chong atom be chuang chu lai. Finally, produce a positive ion, jiu xing chen le hen duo jia de li zi la. So this is what we call ionizing radiation. They can make the ion, ta ke zi zao li zi. Okay? Any example? So I show you the example alpha la beta just is this kind of thing can make the electron emitting radiation okay so draw slowly slowly will be written in your notes okay so any example of non ionizing radiation or ionizing radiation or what are the differences between non ionizing radiation and ionizing radiations okay start from here for non ionizing radiation normally they will be low frequency 它们的频率呢比较低这种方式先它的频率嗯比较低 lower frequency compared to ionizing radiation 离子化的方式先 normally they having higher frequency the frequency will be higher. They mean from this diagram, from the left to the right, 从左手边, 慢慢地走去右手边, the frequency of the radiation going to become higher. 它的频率呢是越来越高的. Okay? So any example of non-ionizing radiation, 不能制造离子的放射线, with the low frequency, 谁在里面呢? Number one, very low frequency wave. 
，就是很低的频率啦。Any example, okay? For example, if you having a remote control car that is very cheap, forty five ringgit, 四十五块钱的那种遥控控制车。Or your remote control with the car will be controlled by forty nine de forty nine forty nine hertz, 四十九 megahertz. Or this is something called low frequency, la, 频率很低啦 Okay, 它不会造成伤害，它不会给你的孩子变成离子就对了啦 Okay, so very low frequency. Or beside this, any example, radio wave. Always mean by radio wave, your my FM, your FM the radio. You 在驾车的时候，你爸爸开的那个收音机 FM radio. So they are lower frequency. They're not going to harm your body. They're not going to make your body become ion. 它不会创造你那变成离子，明白吗 ？So lower frequency like radio frequency 啦。Okay, 还有什么呢？ So now the frequency become higher. For example, microwave, 微波炉的微波 Okay. So why you put the food inside the microwave oven and you just on and you turn for one minute, 它转一小一分钟罢了，对不对 ？And your food become very hot. 它用什么东西煮你的菜的呢 ？Microwave 一种放射线呢、啊、？Okay. 那种放射线就叫微波，所以叫微波炉 microwave. Followed by what? 这种都不会制造离子，它不会把你的肌肉变成离子出来。放心 ，OK。Infrared 红外线 ，OK。And after the infrared 红外线 ，you will be visible light. Always mean by visible light， 能见光。Or these are the frequency. Or these are the radiation that can be observed by your eyes. 你眼睛看得到的光就叫 visible light。Okay, 它没有制造离子，它会创造你的眼睛，眼睛变成很多的离子出来。Okay, so all this they are the low frequency radiation, 频率比较低的放射线，嗯，一种波来的。But they're not going to making the ion, 它不会制造离子。Okay, but after this they'll be more dangerous. 接下来的是比较危险的 ，they will be ionizing radiation. 它们可能会制造离子了 ，ultraviolet 紫外线。Okay. 紫色方面呢、啊、，so we see but like we can see the red color, orange, yellow, green, indigo, blue and violet， 对不对 ？And after violet， 它变成紫外线，那个就危险了，它的频率比较高。Okay， ultraviolet， and after ultraviolet， ultraviolet 又被 X-ray， 哇，更可怕了。And after X-ray, you'll be gamma. Gamma 就是你们所谓的辐射了 Okay, so ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma, they are the ionizing radiation. 它们能制造离子，它创造你你的原子变成离子 So they may be going to harm your body. 了，它会造成你的身体伤害就对了 So 这种就叫 ionizing radiation. Okay, next. So what are the differences between ionizing radiation and non-ionizing radiation? 差别在哪里呢 ？Ionizing radiation normally lower frequency, 频率比较低。哎 ，sorry, sorry. Ionizing radiation normally frequency will be higher, 频率会比较高的。其实没有声音啊，声音是我做的。Non-ionizing radiation will be lower frequency, 频率会比较低。Okay, or any differences? So ionizing radiations, they having high energy contents. 它的能量很高 Therefore, it can ionize other atom. 它可以弄坏你的 atom 变成离子了 Or when the cell having the cell division, 当你的细胞在分解的时候 because of the high energy ionizing radiation, they harm your DNA. They making you, they modify your DNA. 它改造你的 DNA, 弄坏你的 DNA. And finally. Okay, it may be cause mutation, 基因改变呢，所以造成新的细胞就是不良的细胞，不好的细胞。Oh, or non-ionizing radiation, the energy level will be lower. 它的能量比较低。So low energy contents, so it cannot ionize other atom. 它不能离子化其他的东西，它的能量比较低。还有什么呢？ Ionizing radiation more harmful and it can damage the DNA. Yes, it's more dangerous. It can destroy your DNA. It can go through your body. It can destroy your cells. Compared to non-ionizing radiation, it will be less harmful than the ionizing radiation. It's more dangerous. Okay. Actually, when I'm sitting here, there are millions of radiation pass through my body. My body actually has thousands of radiation. 经过的身体，哦、oh, ，just beside my body， 在我的身体旁边罢了。有隔壁家的 WiFi，、嗯、有自己的 WiFi，CS 端 WiFi， 嗯，有 Messi 的 WiFi，、嗯、有我的 data，、嗯、什么都有
明白吗 ？But they are not harmful and nothing to worry 啦。OK， or your modem will be somewhere around here。你的家，你的家的 two point four gig modem 嘛，差不多在这边，它的频率在这边。Yeah， between the radio and microwave 啊，在这边。So that's why certain of your father, mother during the night they off your modem， 它关掉你的 WiFi， 对不对 ？Why？ Because they worry。The radiation going to harm your body, that they make you maybe not comfortable. 然后伤害到你的身体，它大概在这边。Okay, so 频率越高，速度越快啦。以后会更高更高。那以前我们是用这种来东东西沟通，现在在这边。以后用这边，然后死光光。Okay, so next， 再来。Any example of ionizing radiation? So alpha. OK， 就是一种放射线 ，alpha、beta、gamma、X-ray、cosmic ray。Always mean by cosmic ray， 来自外太空的放射线 ，cosmic ray。OK，and、okay. non-ionizing radiation。An example ultraviolet。But ultraviolet will be somewhere around here 啦，它在这边，在这边中间灰色地带。OK， 中间中间 ，infrared 红外线。Microwave, radio wave, receiver light， 这些都是没有放射线的。哎，不是，没有 ionizing power 的放射线。Has a symbol? How is a symbol? 它的标志怎样呢 ？Oh, this is a symbol that you always can get it in hospital, 对不对 ？In the X-ray room, 在 X-ray room 的前面呢，这种标志。Okay, and non-ionizing radiation, they will be safe. It's a bit more safe. And this symbol will be anywhere in your handphone, in your house, 在哪里都有咖啡店 Or this is something look like Wi-Fi symbol 来的，对不对？好像你家里的 Wi-Fi symbol， 这种就没有危险了。所以这种叫 ionizing radiation and non-ionizing radiation. 一个危险，一个不危险，一个要小心，一个不要去理它。Okay, 理太多你也没有什么东西了。Okay, so set up. So our next title, we're going to talk about three different types of ionizing radiation. 我们会比较三种不一样的 ionizing radiation. Okay, 也就是 alpha, beta, gamma. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.